Hi, this is Tom from Clean Right. Today we're going to show you how to clean and repair a 506, 507, and 511 hydro minder. They're all pretty much the same except for no siphon breaker or the brackets are different. The tools you'll need is just a flathead number six screwdriver, quarter inch nut driver, and an adjustable wrench. So to get started, okay, the first thing we're going to do is remove, remove the magnet cap. Now you can either use a quarter inch nut driver on this or a flathead screwdriver. Take the screw out. lift up on the cap. Now when you pick up on the cap a lot of times the magnet is going to come with it. Separate them. Okay. This yoke on the side of it. Pull it out of the magnet. Remove the magnet and magnet cap. Okay. Remove the spring. Now all of, what I normally do is I just hang the yoke down at the bottom so it's out of my way. Okay. The next thing is, is we're going to remove the valve body off of this. Same thing. Flathead screwdriver or quarter inch nut driver. There's three screws in here. You're gonna take them out. Okay, once this is done, let the valve body fall down. It will give you enough room to get the stem out. Now, when you take the stem out, be careful because sometimes the seal actually stays in here, the plunger does. All right. When you take the plunger off of it, you have a plunger and a spring. Okay, now all we have left is the valve body on here with the injector and the stub on it. Make sure that this area in here is clean and not nicked. If it's damaged, you're going to replace the valve body. If it's not damaged and it looks good, clean it off real good, whether with a wet rag, Q-tip, anything that you can get in to keep it, get it clean. Okay, when you're done with that and you've inspected this and you know it's in good shape, now what I normally do is I'll take the plunger or the seal or the disc or whatever you want to call it and I'll stick it back inside there. Take the spring, stick it inside the stem. Take the plunger assembly, flat part, tip up, put it back inside. Push it all in, stick it back up inside the hydro minder, and seat the valve body against it. Now, once you have that in place, as long as you have the screws holes all lined up, you're pretty well bet that the stem and the seal in the bottom is lined up. Then it's just a matter of reinstating the screws. Now you have to be fairly careful with this because you're running metal screws into a plastic valve body and it's very easy to cross thread them. So what I normally do is I get them started. And then I tighten them down. Now when you go to repair this, if you're, if you're actually going to put a new kit in against it, you know, you're going to get a plunger assembly kit. Part number on that is IN6655K. It comes with, it comes with everything you need to replace it in. Now, the difference being in the newer ones, when they come from the factory, they actually come with a plastic stem on it. The repair kit's going to have a metal stem on it. They're not different. They're the same one. Now, the metal stems actually hold up better than the plastic ones do. So you're better off when you're repairing it if you have a repair kit to put the metal stem in. Don't reuse the old ones. Replace all the parts because all the parts come inside the kit. After you're done with that, you're going to put the magnet spring back on. Put the magnet back inside its holder. Place that in place. Then you're going to take the yoke that you took off and there's two holes, one on each side. The arms of the yoke go inside of it. Once you have that in place, it's just a matter of putting the cap back on without letting it fly away from you. Reinserting the cap. This is the same thing. Now with, with, with the stem that's in it, if you have the metal stem in it, you're, it's easier to line up because you're putting a, you know, a, a machine screw in it. With the plastic stem in it, you have a plastic piece with a metal screw going in it. So you have to be careful that you line it up to get it tight. 
All right, you've just cleaned and repaired a hydro minder, the magnet side of it. Okay, once you have it cleaned and repaired and you have water flowing through it, grab a hold of the yoke, pull down on it. It'll flush water. Let go of it and make sure it stops. It's, it, you're, better off to feel, you're better off to test this before you start running chemicals through it again to make sure that it's operating correctly. Okay, now, suction stub. Now, there'll be times that this will wear or times it will plug. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you receive a bag of tips with the hydro minder. You're using the tip according to what soap you're going to use. It has a drill size, a diameter size of the hole. If you check the cleaning knife catalog underneath hydro minders, you'll actually find a ratio chart. So you're going to put the tip according to whatever ratio soap you're going to use. Now, you're going to take the tip out. Make sure that the hole on the tip is clean and open. And the easiest way to clean and open it is blow on it. Check the stub out, make sure there's no blockage in it. If there isn't, you're going to reinsert the tip, the suction stub. Reinsert the tip. Then you're going to install your pickup tube on the stub after the tip's installed of it. This is going down to your bucket of soap. This is the discharge tube that goes down into your tank. Now the discharge tube has a baffle on the inside of it. Without this, you will not pull soap correctly. So you're going to stick the baffle in up at the top onto the hydro minder. Make sure you push it up far enough so that the clamp is clamping it in place. Now, if the tube is too long, cut off at the bottom. Do not cut off at the top. You need this baffle so that it restricts the water so that you can draw a chemical collect correctly. That pretty much takes care of it. Now, the one other thing that I, I just remembered too is you have a screen on the inlet side of this. Make sure it is free and clear for water flow. It's on the inlet side on the garden hose fitting. So make sure it's clean. Now this can be done while it's sitting on top of your tank. It can be done on a bench. Whatever's most convenient for you. I don't even normally take them off the tank. I'll do it right over the top of the tank. Like I said, be careful with some of the smaller parts if you don't drop them so that you're not going down the tank to get them again. But it, 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 you know, you're, you're, you're pretty well finished. There are different types of hydro minders other than the one that we just repaired, but they're basically all the same thing. The difference is you'll have a diaphragm instead of a seal. And, but, you know, basically what we just did will pretty well repair or clean any hydro minder that you have, whether it's a, a smaller one, a 506, 507, up to a 540, or 560, so on and so forth. It's basically the same thing as far as repairing and, and cleaning them. Thank you.